your pots complete, and now you would like to add a lid. So the first tendency is to make a disc and set it on top. And that seems to work well because the clay is sticky. It's wet still, and so it feels like it's secure and it will stay. But what will happen after the clay is kiln fired and it's no longer filled with moisture, this is not gonna stay so well. If you pick it up, it's gonna fall off. So you need to make your lid with an insert. Here's what I mean. This extra piece of clay that will insert down into the vessel so that when you're sliding it, it's not gonna come off. So for a pot like this, you just need one pancake or disc that's gonna be the size of the actual lid and then a second one that will fit inside. And so if you can see, I've left some room around it, um, about a 16th of an inch maybe, because you wanna leave some room in case they um, shrink a little bit. Sometimes kiln firing can be unpredictable, different rates of drying, like this is already dried for a day, and now this is fresh, right? Because remember, clay shrinks a tiny bit when all of the moisture is gone. So you, you don't want it to be, this to end up being too big and it won't fit down in it. So I think these are good sizes. So my next step will be to score and slip and then smooth to attach it. Now I could also add a handle if I wanted to. And of course, all you would need to do with that is score and slip it as well. All right, smoothing, remember the three S's, smoothing is the third one. So I just scored and slipped, and if I wanna be extra certain that it will stick, I'll use the back of my paintbrush or my finger and I will smooth out the seams, All right? So you can do that and you're gonna check for craftsmanship by using your brush, making everything smooth and neat. But that is the basic concept that it should fit down in. Now, to let it dry, I recommend you get a piece of saran wrap set it on there and then put this in so that nothing gets stuck together. This is a good way for your lid to dry while waiting to go into the kiln. Of course, remove the saran wrap before it goes in the kiln because it is plastic and would melt. So you can add any type of a handle you want once you've got the insert resting and complete. Now, one other option, if you have a pot that comes to a very tiny opening, you could take a wad of clay, roll it into a ball first, and then start to roll it into a point on one end. So you're making like a teardrop shape. You would then take your piece of saran, lay it across the piece, across the opening, take the pointed end, put it down into the pot, and you could leave it just like that, or you could also press it. It'll sort of mold exactly to the shape. So you can see when you pull it out, it's molded to fit in there very nicely. But again, I would let it dry just like this. 